night fell again, and the giant and his wife, Diffidence, were in bed. She asked him about the prisoners and if they had taken his advice and killed themselves. They are sturdy scoundrels, he replied. They choose to bear all hardships rather than to take their own lives. Take them into the castle yard tomorrow and show them the bones and skulls of those whom you have already dispatched and promise them that before two weeks go by you will tear them in pieces as you have done to other pilgrims. When the morning arrived, the giant went to Christian and Hopeful again and took them into the castle yard. He showed them all the bones and skulls, just as his wife had told him to do. These, he said, were pilgrims once, just as you are, and they trespassed on my grounds, just as you have done. When I saw fit, I tore them into pieces, and within ten days I will do the same to you. Now get back down to your cell again. With that, he beat them all the way back to the dungeon. They lay in the dank darkness all day on Saturday in a most miserable condition, just like before. That night, when Mrs. Diffidence and her husband the giant went to bed, they began to discuss their prisoners again. The old giant was amazed that he could not bring them to an end, either by his blows or his advice. With that, his wife replied, I fear they live in hopes that someone will come to deliver them, or that they have picklocks hidden on their person which they hope to use to escape. I hadn't thought of that, the giant said. But, since you have presented this possibility, my dear, I will search them in the morning. <laughs>